I originally recorded these videos in November and December of 2016 before I started using mods. I thought they might be useful for people who still don't use mods, whether it's because of game style, wanting to play the game the way it was meant to be, that sort of thing. And also just an interesting look back at what was possible before we built with mods. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Hello everyone, it's Ed, aka Gamer Gramps. Wanted to do a quick talk about building 11 here in my sanctuary build. In actuality, building 11 is not a building, at least not yet. Uh, part of the reason for that is because I'm waiting for the mods so that I can do something a little bit different with it. And so what I did was, this is going to be my R&D facility, research and development. Because of that, I have actually amassed a large amount of items that look like they would fit into a research and development facility and just place them in this metal box for now until later when I decide to use them. Now behind this building or behind this basically slab, this foundation is my secondary farm. This is the farm that I expanded out to once my settlement got too large to stay inside of the inner keep. And of course, why would I make this my R&D building? Well, because some of the most advanced technology, what I used to get into the Institute, is currently set up right here and ready to go. Part of the reason I'm waiting for the mods is so that I can move these items, which I can't currently do without just scrapping them. I don't want to do that. I don't want to just scrap them. I would like to move these items and... Uh, actually place them inside of a building of, of some sort. At the time when I built this, I didn't have a lot of resources, so it just has what it has. So anyway, I know that was a really short video, but I hope it kind of encompasses what I'm hoping to do here. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Have a great day.